Hi, I'm Miss Krista from the Booter Library, and today I'm going to tell you the story of the Little Red Hen, with a little help from the Little Red Hen. Once there was a Little Red Hen, and she was out looking for things to eat, and she found some worms, and she found some spiders, and she found some slugs, but then she found some grains of wheat and she said, if I plant this wheat instead of eating it, then I could grow lots of wheat. And then I could grind the wheat into flour so that I could make bread. So she picked up all the grains of wheat and she started off for home. And on the way she met her friends and she had three friends. She had a dog friend and a cat friend and a pig friend. And she told her friends all about the wheat. And she asked her friends, who will help me plant this wheat? But her friends were very lazy. And the dog said, not I. And the cat said, meow, not I. And the pig said, ooh, not I. So the little red hen said, then I'll do it myself. And she did, she planted all of that wheat and she took good care of it till it grew up nice and tall. And then it was time to cut it down. And she went to her friends and asked her friends, who will help me cut the wheat? But do you know what that dog said? Not I. And the cat said, not I. And what do you think the pig said? Not I. So the little red hen said, then I'll do it myself. And she did. She cut down all of that wheat and she put it in a big wheelbarrow. And then she went to her friends and she said, who will help me grind the wheat into flour? But the dog said, what do you think? Not I. And the cat said, not I. And the pig said, oh, not I. So the little red hen said, then I'll do it myself. And she did. She pushed that wheelbarrow all the way to the mill. And then she ground all of that wheat into flour. And then she pushed the wheelbarrow all the way home. And when she got there, she asked her friends, who will help me bake the bread? But her friends were still just as lazy as ever. And the dog said, not I. And the cat said, not I. And the pig said, oh, not I. So the little red hen said, then I'll do it myself. And she did. And she made some nice bread. And it smelled so good. And the dog and the cat and the pig could all smell that bread baking. And they all came over to the little red hen's house. And she was just taking the bread out of the oven and she saw her friends and she said, who will help me eat this bread? Well, this time the dog said, I will. And the cat said, I will. And the pig said, I will. The little red hen said, I planted the wheat and I cut the wheat and I ground the wheat into flour, and I baked the bread all by myself. And now I am going to eat the bread all by myself. And she did. Now I know all of you would have been good helpers and you would have helped the little red hen bake that bread and do all of that work. And then you would have gotten to share the bread too, right? I just know you would. I hope you all have a good day and I hope you're all being good helpers today. Bye-bye.